Welcome back to another episode of Pinchao's Garage and today's episode we're going to be doing the MK2 GTI carpet pullout and interior panel so stay tuned because this is Pinchao's Garage. some cutting um, and you know a lot of pulling so first things first uh, you're gonna pull the lower carpet out I mean it's literally just a piece one solid piece it's not that hard uh, it's your seat belts are gonna be in the way so what you're gonna need to do is pull up get the seat belts just out like that this is gross, so I would recommend wearing a face mask. If not, oh well. I mean, I'm not picky like that, but some people are. And the wife is here, so all we're gonna do is fold this over, fold this over, and then there you go. Look at this. He still has the factory donut. It's freaking so cool. I got some cool ideas coming for that, so we'll go forward on that later. But yeah, that's pretty much the back carpet. Let's get the uh, side panels off right now next. Alright, so now the next thing is to take these covers off right here. And they use 10 millimeters. 10 here, 10 back here, 10, and 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five that hold this whole piece together. Uh, same goes on this side, but they're just in a little bit more hidden areas. Just take your time. This has wiring for the little light here, so be careful with that. So, let's get those removed. So the first one is a tin here. And they don't need very much to remove them. Not much force. Now be careful, because these look like specialty screws, so don't lose them. Um, they're like these little weird, like, quick screws almost. Or, I mean, uh, nuts. So, try to just take your time taking these off in the way of that one. These an extension. With using the extension gives you the extra little space that you need or length that you need to get the five screws out. Once you have the five out, pull forward and then see right here. Just make sure you don't snap that. Oh, that got me in the face, ow. All right, so now that exposes pretty much all the carpet right here. And almost all of it. We're gonna get to that one. Um, now we're gonna do the other side. Let's 
like I was saying, it's the same process on the other side, just a little bit more uh, tight fit. So, because you got some other stuff in the way, you got a little light bulb in there. You got this, it's on one on this side. There's a little sensor here for the hat. Now what that one does, it probably tells the uh, the, uh, the little light bulb to turn on when you open the hatch. I just lost my stupid screw and fell. It's fucking gross. Oh, there's my screw. Oh, my, I mean, my nut. I keep forgetting it's my nut. Now, this is part of your process to get to your strut towers too back here, just so you guys know, okay? But we're going to have another DIY on how to install coilovers on this coming soon. So you guys can use this... Uh, DIY in reference to getting to your suspension on this car for the rear. So now, you gotta pull this little switch out. It's got a screw on there. And you'll see here, this little switch that pretty much tells the little light to turn on and off. So I removed the little switch and I pulled the two wires off on it. And then same process, I'm removing the, these guys. Oh, we got something here. Got more wires still. Ah, these are the wires for the light. So, pretty straightforward to come off. An old little car. And there's that. So, that's how you remove those panels and that will give us, give us more access to the carpet the next thing is going to be these rear panels right here, I mean the side panels that will get the uh, rest of the carpet removed for us so you're going to have these two little uh, body panel uh, screws and then there's another Phillips on top Let's see if I can get you guys There we go. So there's a Phillips right here. Keep that aside. These, all you have to do is push into them and spin. They should come right off. Mark IVs have these too. And then, it should give you access Oh, there's one more all the way back here. It's a little body panel grommet. You'll see right here. See my finger? Right there. That's one right there, so we gotta get that out of there. Easy way to get those out is with the flathead screwdriver. So it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more involved than just that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like a layering piece. So now the next one is we're gonna take off this one up here, this panel. Should pop right off. There's not much to it. But be very careful. These are really old. So old plastic is very, very brittle. So now that we're here, we have the door panel. There's an ashtray. More than likely that's screwed in. Uh, there's also a little body grommet down there in the bottom. We're gonna have to probably remove that. And that's probably what holds the rest of this door panel here. But you saw how easy I was able to remove this panel. Uh, there's some tubes here, inside here, that go to the drainage system for the uh, sunroof. So more likely those are going to be replaced as well. Um, probably super rotted. So it was just a quick uh, little thing to inspect for. Okay guys, right over here. So now we're going to work our way to this panel and get that done. So, 
this little body uh, grommet here, you just pull straight out with the fly head pry a little bit. The ashtray has a little button right here, you push down, pulls out. This you pry from underneath and pull out, but be very careful. Um, you don't want to damage anything. Because I don't know how brittle this stuff is, but. Up, oh, see? Good thing I inspected this. Come back around this way. See it's a door panel. But let's remove the weather strip, huh? Give me a second here. Look at these, Look at these pesky Germans over engineering everything. So you gotta pull this weather strip back out a little bit. And there's one, two screws right here. I would never have caught this, but since this is an old car, I am really taking my time on taking things out. So now that I notice there's a lot more stuff in here than normal, I'm double checking everything. Because now there's more body grommets. I just found another one. But this, see how like easy that was able to pry out now? I just found another grommet right here. So you gotta use a fly head and try to pry that out without damaging it. Which probably not gonna happen, but I'll do my best. Nope, it's damaged. That's okay. You can replace these. These are pretty common pieces to buy. So the next thing is once you get that little grommet out, the seat belt has to be removed. everything together so you don't lose it so now that the seat belts removed you got this grommet and this grommet here removed you took this panel off well not off but apart so it has it's loosey-goosey you've taken out the two screws here on the side uh, now it's trying to pry <laughs> slowly without damaging anything I didn't think I damaged it, but or is it glued on? No. Okay, they go up. Cool. So you pry these up, over and up, to get them out, just like that. And now is a good time to inspect for more rust or water leakage or any type of light coming through here. Looks really good. So. Pretty happy with that. Now it's time to take out this piece. <clears throat> Whoa. And now this piece of carpet is now fully exposed. And literally just gotta pull up and out. Seems pretty disgusting, so I'm really not happy about yanking this out. <laughs> well, there you go. Sorry about that, the battery died, so I had to plug it into my little portable charger so I can get back to work. But now that we got the um, carpet out, it looks really, really good for a 30 plus year old car. I am very impressed with this car. I got the, this is an 83, I think 83 or 84 uh, GTI, so it's really well taken care of. I don't see any crazy leakage where rust might start, you know, going in and causing a lot of corrosion. I'm pretty impressed on this side of the car. I couldn't find anything through the window seals at all either. So this is very, very impressive for such an old car. 
I'm very glad that the guy I bought it off of took very very good care of it and he was it's a one car owner only so it's 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 been well taken care of for its time so now we're on this side we gotta do the same thing <laughs> so get that up there so here falls goes the same process uh, besides that it doesn't have the uh, ashtray so you're gonna take off the one screw the body grommet over here these two grommets down here that will loosen this up and then we gotta take the grommet here and there the body grommets there the seat belt off the two screws on the side we're gonna take this cover off this one has a random screw in it like kind of a eight millimeter you gotta take that bad boy off. This panel comes off, and then we take off, get ready with the door card, and then this guy, and that's it. And then that gets this side off, and then we'll get the carpet off. So let's get get to work. Taking that screw off, exposes that up. Um, if you guys can, get this, put the screws back in their original location, from wherever you removed them from. That's a flower. body pieces like this thing just fell off I have no idea probably from up here yep right here when you remove carpet make sure when you yank stuff out you only yank out the carpet and nothing else with it um, we're just yanking this out of the way okay so next we're going to get to doing this part of the, uh, the car. Um, those little screws, little five screws that you had, um, just try to hand put them back in. And the nuts, the nuts, those little funky nuts that you remove. They're kind of weird so they might not go in like 100% just get them on so you don't wiggle stuff around and stuff falls off or you move something and you knock it off and you lose it these aren't very common so you don't want to lose them so next use the Phillips so taking off the screw here now we're unscrewing these stupid things they may not be that easy so you might have to give it a little pry oh, just like that <laughs> and you'll get that one loose and then with your flathead like I said earlier you're gonna pry on these little body um, grommets and try to get your fingernail, fingernail underneath them spider yeah, just like that pop them off this one's tricky because there's no really much make there's not really much space for it here's the seat belt So now we gotta take the two screws off the side. Pull your weather strip back a little bit. And you take these two screws off. And what you're going to do is once you take them off, you're going to put them back on, but without the door panel. 
rear panel. So you gotta pull and pull up, pull out and up, just like that. Because these are down, I guess, the little covers um, or the latches. And you just pull it straight out, just like that. When you're done, put your little screws back on. That way you don't misplace them. Just like that, out of the way. And then you're going to pull your little, this little plastic here. Oh, I forgot to pull that body, body grommet, grommet right over here earlier. For this, you know, saying just yank it out. It's disgusting, so who cares if you rip it or not? I'll just yank that sucker out. So now that the carpet's removed, do what do what I did earlier. Inspect, you know. Any kind of rust or any kind of light coming through, like I see a light, I can see light from outside on this side. So I have to figure out why that's the case. Um, and look for anything that has that looks suspicious, like with the water, like right here. A good example, I have some water coming out through here, so more likely that's from the tail light or something from the tail light up here. So we have to figure out why we're getting water in here. More likely from the wells that are here. We had to probably like run some some caulking on the inside to prevent any water from leaking in or seeping in, causing more rust and causing more problems down the road. Um, but yeah, that's the rear carpet removal. Not too shabby. Uh, did it under an hour. Not bad. Now we gotta do the front carpet.